Okay, go. Good morning, America. I'm your host, Matthew McCoy. And boy, do I have a show for you. We're going to be looking at all the different problems in our lives today. Let's get started. First, let's go to Brendan. All right, breaking news. A large amount of babies have been born in Central Mass area. This mass amount of births is now being classified as the baby boom generation. It has been reported one birth for every 10 seconds. I can't even count that. Um, the price of living is going way up because families of four are now becoming families of five. This is leading to families forcing their kids to sleep in the closet. In the closet. In the closet. Now for our cooking segment with John Zins and Jeff Boyd. Thanks, John. With higher demand to drive, the Federal Highway Act has just been passed. With this new act being passed and interstate highways now being built throughout the country. The bigger lanes on these roads will allow for a quicker evacuation if, need, if ever needed in a case of a nuclear attack. With the expansion of the highway, we expect the demand for cars to rise. For more on this, Ben Blue's here. And uh, what are your feelings on the interstate highway? Uh, I like it. I mean, you can drive fast, but it sometimes gets a little jammed up. So. Thanks, Drew. With the new interstate highways going in and more people owning cars, this will lead to an increased business towards two companies. The first one is drive-in movie theaters. More people will now be able to attend the movies now that they have cars. Along with drive-in movies, the use of drive-in restaurants will, will rise as well. People will no longer be forced to go inside to get their food and will be able to go to drive throughs Cars are now symbolizing the status of a person. Now to Matt with the news on the Taft Park. The Taft-Hartley Act is now in effect. This means anti-union is being put into place. This reduces the power of unions to aid businesses. This new act is also being put to an end to the price controls that were passed during the war. Another thing to put into place with the Taft-Hartley Act is the president is allowed an 80-day cooling off period for strikes in essential industries. And now to Andrew Flynn. First in sports, the Boys basketball team will play Franklin on Thursday night at 7 p.m. in the first round of the, the district playoffs. Following the firing of 14-year baseball coach Matt Gill, Wachusett has now hired Mark Pierce to fill in. Wait a second, we have some breaking news, Brendan. Oh, wait a minute. Breaking news, former history teacher Mac Daddy Moses has been rehired as a full-time substitute teacher at Wachusett Regional High School. We will inform you more on this story when we have more. Uh, new development in sports. We got spike ball out here. And, uh, I think we might show you a game, okay? on tonight's basketball game? Oh, well, the boys can pull it out. They beat Franklin, and we had, they beat us last year here in our gym, so let's hope we can go down there and beat them in their gym. We'll be back after these messages. All right, John, I'm going to pump you up again. Let's see it. Let's go. Let's start stretching. Oh, yeah. I can't even do too much. Come on, man. I'm going to pump you up. <laughs> Last couple of months, rock and roll is becoming the new thing. Many young adults and teenagers have shown a big interest in the music. Many of the older people, though, feel as if rock and roll is affecting the younger generation negatively. But in reality, the rise of rock and roll is really shaping our culture. I'm here with a random bystander. What's your opinion on rock and roll music? I love rock and roll music. I can't go day without listening to it. Honestly, it inspires me so much to just be like a better person, do better with my dreams. Wow, what a busy day we had today. We learned how to cook as well. Till next time, Matt signing off.